we present a case of challenging polymyomectomy uh, for uh, expert laparoscopic endoscopic surgery. To do this challenging surgery, it's important to control both internal iliac artery by a bulldog clamp to decrease the risk of uh, peroperative bleeding that allows us to decrease the risk of uh, open procedure after laparoscopy. As you see, we put a bulldog on the internal iliac artery, the left one, and we will do the same on the right side. We open the peritoneum lateral to the right pericardium. We open the retroperitoneal space and we uh, reach our classical now mark, which are the aorta medially and the internal iliac artery lateral. You can see the internal iliac artery is clearly seen, the aorta is clearly seen. We skeletonize this whole artery and we put our bulldog on this artery. The first myoma, you can see the good location. The first myoma, it's a 12 centimeter round ligament myoma. And to remove safely this myoma, it's important to cut firstly the peritoneum surrounding the myoma till we reach the bladder. The second step is to open the tissue surrounding the myoma and we'll try to identify the pseudocapsula. And when you find the pseudocapsula, this maneuver allows us to extract progressively the myoma in a bloodless condition. You can see the pseudocapsula and it's important to stay outside this pseudocapsula, particularly near the uh, uterine vessels which are medial to the myoma and lateral to the uterus. You can see we use a coagulating current and progressively we cut the tissue in contact with the myoma and not with the pseudocapsula. And with the devascularization made by uh, the both internal iliac artery control, you can see that this procedure is quite bloodless. You see, we cut the pseudocapsula and progressively we remove the myoma outside the internet. You can sometimes use some bi bipolar energy. The myomectomy is done. We don't lose time for electrical hemostasis. We use a Vicryl 114 mm needle and quickly we close the myoma belt. For that, we use interrupted suture two centimeters outside the myoma bed, and by a double flat knot, we imbachinate the tissue inside the myoma bed and we, with this first stop, we decrease uh, more than 90% of uh, the bleeding. Now we continue the closer and in the same maneuver, two centimeters outside the myoma bed and we close with interrupted suture. You can see it's crucial to, be, uh, to do a flat knot for a perfect hemostatic effort. See the assistants lock the knot and we do two or three loops. We continue the closer upward and we we'll use our uh, right round the gamma for a better hemostatic effect. You can see the procedure, even the myoma, it's a 12 centimeter one in the brown ligament completely bloodless and quick. It's important for this kind of surgery to have a well-trained assistant or nurse to do safely this procedure quickly and in a bloodless condition. Now we will remove a second myoma. It's a six centimeter type two five myoma. So we open the myometrium and we will use a 10 centimet 10 millimeter pulsy forceps that allows us to extract 
this myoma outside its bed. This myoma have an endometrial repercussion, and you will see this is endometrial cavity, and we try not to use the electrical energy near the endometrium to decrease the risk of postoperative synesia. And it's mandatory for this kind of patient to do a stereoscopic exam two months after the surgery. As I said before, don't lose time for uh, bipolar hemostasis. Use the stitch, the same technique, and vagination of the healthy myometrium inside the myoma bed. And knock your knot, and the job is done. As you see, there is absolutely few bleeding. We will continue the suturing. Take care at this level not to put inside your stitch the proximal part of the tube, which are sometimes closer than we think. And invagination, and you see the anatomical result begin to be better and better. We continue the downward part of, of hysterotomy, and we have the use to do every time longitudinal hysterotomy that allows us to facilitate the further growth. You can see the hysterotomy is well closed, there is no bleeding, and we can now remove the third myoma. It's a 7 cm type 2-5 myoma. Same technique, longitudinal hysterotomy and myoma extraction with the using as less as possible the lineage. When you find a good dissecting plane, the myomectomy is quite simple and quite bloodless. You can see, and we do the closure. As you see, the needle is in the opposite position because it's a uh, posterior uh, suture, the uh, assistant invaginate the myoma, the assistant lock the knot, and we can complete our flow. We close upward, same technique, good bite of healthy myometrium and it's important to put your needle in one shot to decrease the capillary bleeding due to the multiple uh, needle trauma. You can see the hysterotomy is well closed and it's time to do the morcellation. We use for that a 15 millimeter morcellator. The setup is 700 per, per minute. So this is a challenging myomectomy that must be done by expert surgeon, not a, a new surgeon, to decrease the risk of laparoconversion. And if you have a good knowledge of a suturing technique, have a good assistant, you can do this procedure safely and uh, for a better post-operative outcome and a better fertility outcome. So this is our technique for the expert surgeon. I hope this video was interesting even for the young resident and uh, thank you Farashat for your attention and see you for my next video. Goodbye.